Level 8, Cave System. Survival Difficulty. Class 5, Unsafe, Unsecure, Entity Infestation. Level 8 is the ninth level of the back rooms. This level seems to be an infinite cave system with caverns and dangers around every corner. Description. Level 8 is made of huge caverns and small cave systems that twist and turn like normal underground systems. Level 8 is very damp, with almond water flowing from the walls and ceiling. Stalactites and stalagmites appear to be very common in level 8. Sounds echo throughout the level, so it is relatively easy to listen for potential danger, or possibly even attracted if not careful. Level 8 is normally devoid of natural light, but light sources from an unknown origin shine on the damp walls, making the level slightly glow in select areas. Vegetation albeit extremely rare, does exist on level 8 in the form of dried vines and small shrubs. Large pools of almond water can be found around the level, which is not safe for consumption due to large amounts of minerals. Some pools that are found are made of the viscous tar-like substance, the same substance found in level 2 and level 7. Entering the goop will result in groups of humanoid hands covered in tar to reach out and grab the wanderer, dragging them into the pool. Another variant of the pools is one made from distilled water, and entering one will lead the wanderer to level 7. Small veins of ore exist within level 8. This level includes many types of ore minerals such as iron, copper, gold, and more. The MEG have created public travel routes in the safe area of level 8 for safe travel for wanderers. Many dangerous entities reside in level 8, that being smilers, skin stealers, wretches, camo crawlers 1, transporters, male, and female death moths, hostile facelings, blossoming eyes, hounds, death rats, parallies, fault crawlers, clumps, watchers, reviooks, wranglers and rare sightings of stalkers. Level 8 has their own special entity known as the arachnids of level 8. These entities are large spiders that are extremely venomous. We advise avoiding these entities at all cost. The entities known as crawlers have been reported due to the vents of level 2 connecting to level 8. The entities known as the Frayed are theorized to have been created on level 8 by an unknown group. A strange property of Entity 2 is that windows that house them can appear in level 8 scave walls. Due to the danger presented by the entity known as Wranglers, it is highly advised to be aware of their abilities before traversing this level. Above all, if any rumblings are heard or felt, evacuate the area immediately. This report details an event that had occurred that had created massive changes to Level 8's structure and public routes. A Wrangler had died during no clip throughout Level 8. This Wrangler is the largest ever recorded, being approximately 90 miles in length. This caused many public routes to be blocked off by organic mass, and parts of caves collapsing and trapping wanderers inside. The teams of MEG Regiment Quick Match have been dispatched to rescue as many wanderers as possible. Here is an interview with a witness of this event, Begin Log. 942 Interviewer, MEG Operative. Interviewee, Wanderer, MEG Operative. Would you like to state your name for the interview? Wanderer, No. No ma'am. MEG Operative, OK that is fine. Wanderer, Thank you, I'm just horrified from what had happened. MEG operative, may you explain the events that had occurred when it began? Wanderer, yes. It was pretty simple at first. Me and my friends were all heading to level 9 and then level 11 later on. We are trying to enjoy our lives. Until. That thing appeared. MEG operative, continue. Wanderer, one of my friends was talking to me, and I wasn't paying close attention. The system was a public route, and we were just waiting to fall on into 9 but, all of a sudden, I turned around, I don't know why I did, but I had a strong feeling to do it. When I did, I screamed. The entire tunnel behind us was covered in. Whatever it was. It was moving fast and through the wall like there was nothing there like it was no clipping. I remembered one of my other friends was a bit behind. I don't know if that thing consumed him. 
I screamed out his name and got no response. I I didn't know. I I. There Wanderer started sobbing, M.E.G. Operative, hey, we will try to do our best to look for your friend. Wanderer, are you sure? M.E.G. Operative, I'll make sure of it. Wanderer, I thank you. Here I'll tell you what happened next. We were all in a panic, not knowing what to do. Until there. Thing, let out a large scream that was so loud I don't doubt that it could be heard throughout the entire level. All of a sudden, it stopped moving, and then everything started to shake and fall apart everywhere. The level shook like an earthquake. It was so loud my ears went deaf for a few minutes from it. The rest of us survived from all of the shaking. We decided to move on forward. The public routes were changed from what had happened, and new systems opened up. We needed to be careful as anything could have come out of those new tunnels. We had eventually sat down to rest until one of our other friends fell through the floor, she said she went to level 9 like normal and contacted us when I got my Wi-Fi working again, and then a few hours later you have found us. There were just three of us left. I, I, I can't believe how I, I survived. M.E.G. Operative, that sounded horrible, we are so sorry for your troubles. We can give you some supplies to last you a while, where are you heading? Wanderer, back to camp. And thanks, I'll take it. Summary. The Wanderer that was interviewed had gone back to Camp Amber on level 0 and was given extra supplies for safekeeping. The two missing Wanderers from this report were found alive, although one was in critical condition from the Wrangler attack. The MEG are working tirelessly to save as many people as they can. This is a tragic event, and it is unknown how many casualties had occurred. Hang in there, we're coming for you. End log. 944. During the missions of saving the wanderers trapped in level 8 a discovery was found. Many new cave systems were uncovered after the event occurred. These systems go miles deep underground, and it is unknown how many new anomalies and entities can reside there. Evidence shows that the wrangler that caused this event originated from these deeper systems. The MEG will begin to traverse these new systems once every route is back to working condition, bases, outposts and communities, setting up an outpost or community within level 8 is not advised. However, this does not mean it hasn't been done. The MEG Outpost Cave Raiders, this is an outpost set up by the MEG during 2015, and finished by 2016. This outpost is tasked with terminating hostile entities and mapping out routes for public transportation. This outpost has 54 members. The town of Cavaragost, this now defunct group, was reportedly made up of an unknown species of vaguely humanoid entities that have long since disappeared without a trace. This community was said to have 78 members. These members lived in a remote area of level 8 which was not accessible to outsiders prior to its abandonment. The leader of this town was reportedly more welcoming to humans than the rest of the group. There is evidence to suggest that this group existed as a means of supplying other communities with unique minerals hidden deep within level 8. These minerals appear to have also been used to create crude weapons. Members of the group are said to have been adept hunters often skirmishing with the more hostile entities roaming near the town. It is unclear what became of these entities or this town, but there have been no signs of life within its walls since it was discovered. Discovery, Level 8 was discovered when the Explorers group found its way to this level in 2011. The group had enumerated many encounters and discoveries until their disappearance in Level 9, since this discovery, many wanderers traversed the dangerous caverns of Level 8 until 2015, when the MEG had set up an outpost to ensure the safety of the wanderers who decide to traverse the level, entrances and exits, entrances, to enter, finding cave entrances in Level 7 is the main way to enter Level 8. Walking through a dark hallway in Level 103 will lead to Level 8. Wandering through the deep dark concrete caves of level 2.1 will lead to level 8. An as of yet undocumented exit in level 64 leads to level 8.
jumping through the well in level 135 can lead to level 8 small tunnels in level minus 4.1 most often lead to level 8. Crawling through the tubes in level 283 will lead to a point where the multicolored playground tubes transition into level 8 small jagged rocky caves, exits, to exit, you can randomly fall through the floor of level 8 to enter level 9, Rare tiny silvery passages of level 8 lead to level 75. Vents can be found in some areas that can lead to level 2. But this is not advised. Entering the distilled water pools has been rumored to drag you back to level 7. Entering the tar pits in level 8 will cause you to be dragged into level 91 if you are lucky enough to survive. This is also not advised. No clipping through a corner of level 8 or a rare chance through exiting level 8 will bring you to level 93. No clip through level 8's ceiling has a small chance to bring you to level 205. Finding random sets of old televisions and no clipping through them will lead you to level 104. Falling through the floor randomly can also rarely lead to level 69. Footnotes 1. This entity started to spawn in many other levels after the discovery of level 61.